Yeah, guys, just making a video here, really just um, comparing Neo stock price, Tesla stock price. We're just going to look at the charts of both and going to begin with Tesla stock price. None of this is financial advice, just my opinion, but. Let's look at the Tesla stock price first, guys, and then we get onto the NEO stock price. The market's not open currently. It's the 9th of November, 2024. And I just want to, just to begin, I want to show you, like, let's put it on the one week chart. I want to show you both charts, both stock price charts. And I want, to i want you to let me know what you think like firstly this is the one week this is the one week chart right for tesla i want you to look at that take it in it's the one week yeah one week chart for tesla going back right 2013 this goes all the way back to and look at that guys just look at it i'm not even going to comment just look at that yeah follow it follow it see the rise coming back down rise again up there all time high back down back up and just just look at it take it in yeah and want to now show you the chart for neo that's the one week chart for neo now that this chart here goes back to 2018 so not as long as the 13 there's five years older the tesla chart Right, so obviously Tesla have been around. They, 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 they was around longer anyway than Neo, but this is the Neo chart. Nonetheless, you see this big spike up here, basically down and up again, and basically all the way down. But now you've seen the two, the two charts, right? We've seen the two charts. Let's just go back to the Tesla chart. And you see this big move here. Just right. It's basically what? It's about a 30% move. This is all based on the election, by the way. I'm going to get onto the NEO chart in a minute. What happened to the price? you know, because of the election. I just want you to focus on this for the moment, this Tesla price. And all right, Tesla gained what? Roughly about 30%, uh, you know, 30% from was around about 2244. Now it's 322 just over 30%, right? Tesla gained. But you can see it's done that before and then fell back. You know, it's climbed up more than like 30% or whatever and fell back. But anyway, point is, how long will that last? This, this rise, this 30% rise, and it was falling. It was already falling, right? The Tesla price, it was struggling to stay up. Look, it was like 280, then it fell all the way, you know, down to 140. And then it was like picking up and then that election boosted it up, right? But the point is, how long would it last? Like with the NEO um, price, you know, the journey is just beginning. That's the point. The journey is just really it's just beginning if you 
like you know if you take away if you if you if you forget about that rise that it made you know the tesla and we'll look at it again if if you let's look at it now like if you if you forget about this basically the spike it made you know basically in 2021 in lockdown if you forget this because a lot of stocks were pumped like this and then it's falling back down it's, it's basically come back down to reality right where if you go back to this is neo stock chart if you go back to the tesla right in a way you say yeah yeah well it's a huge company and this and that blah 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 but guys like don't you think that it hasn't come back down to reality that the, the current stock price of tesla doesn't really reflect where it should be i mean there's things going on behind the scenes we don't know about you know increasing costs and everything right and this is being pumped up like like really high you know it's really being pumped and it's being shored up that's the point it's being shored up look that this recent rise here just because of the election like what's gonna what what's what's gonna change cost of living everything's gone up like approximately like you know 50 percent across the board yeah something's doubled some things are more than doubled but across the board if you average it out everything's gone up like 50 percent right that means manufacturing costs in the u.s have gone up 50 percent uh vehicle prices they're not like somewhat increased but they're not really increased with inflation wages have not really increased but they're increasing to meet you know to keep up with inflation keep up with the cost of living and that's going to have a strong bearing on the overall you know profits for US manufacturers and the price is the, the the point is the neo price right the journey really when you when you look at neo and you compare it to this tesla the journey of neo it's just beginning guys it's just beginning when we're looking at this is the tesla this is the tesla so it's just beginning basically the US like this, this look this price here went up just over 30 percent right because of the election because the u.s look guys the u.s it needs to be on terms with china right because u.s otherwise if it's not on terms with china it will be left behind it will be left behind right China is now, you know, it's way too powerful. Um, it's way too powerful to be ignored. And they both need each other. Although the US need China more, in fact. But they both need each other. Therefore, I think, like, the US putting tariffs on China, especially, like, you know, EV and cars from China in general, it's bound to damage the US in the long run. That's what I think. Like it's bound to damage the US, you know, in the long run. So that means it's good for Neo. Um you know, because the manufacturing costs, as I said, in the US are just too great. They're just too great and they're increasing all the time. When I say manufacturing costs, it's the workforce, it's the it's the parts, it's the it's the, it's the raw materials, it's it's everything. It's just too too much, right? And this is already the case in Europe, where job cuts are taking place. If you want to look at an example in the West. There's manufacturers cutting jobs all the time. Don't it gets reported, 
but it's not hyped news. You don't, you know, it's on the sidelines, that news, but it's all relevant. So, therefore, you know, cars from China will help to bring, you know, help to stabilise the, um, the demand. The demand, you know, in the US, in the EU, in the UK. Um, so, looking at the Tesla stock price and considering all what I've said, you can see how it's not staying high. This is all artificial, right? It's not staying high. It sinks. It goes up here, it sinks. It tries to go up low, lower high here, lower high again, lower high again. And it sinks all the way down to 139. So now it's pushing up, can't make it back down. Tries again, can't make it here, back down. Tries again. And then obviously this is this is uh you know because of the election this artificial rise here. So the fact is that as you've seen, the Tesla stock price is only really boosted by artificial news. Artificial news like how, how is like you know Trump winning the election in the long term? How's that going to be good for like for Tesla? Is that only going to be good for Tesla because they're going to punish China and put tariffs on China? Or what, what, what's China got to do with Tesla, for goodness sake? Well, what, what, what it, the only connection there is, is, is that Tesla obviously fear China, China EVs entering America because they, they, they're, they're, they're basically frightened of competition. That's the point. Tesla... Are frightened of competition because they know they they won't survive they won't they know that china evs are better and once people can get access to them and buy them and realize that they're better that puts tesla out of business so they're frightened of competition basically that's what it is guys that's why you see this big spike come up here but tesla can't dominate forever they can't control the market right they can't because the costs the costs and if they play that game they're playing uh, a very dangerous game because everything could come crashing down around them and then it's going to be much better for, for neo because the flood towards neo and companies like neo it's going to be big time. And the thing is, if Tesla go under for any other issues or, you know, can't meet demand, then the US have got to go to China anyway. You know, basically. So, I don't know. They're trying to control everything the way I see it. The Tesla are trying to control everything because also... They want to control their stock price. If Neo came to US tomorrow and, and flooded the market, and not just Neo, like other Chinese manufacturers, then basically, what would that do to the Tesla stock price? It's obvious. Tesla stock price would crash, probably go down to thirty, thirty dollars. So. This really is a dangerous game Tesla are playing, meddling in politics to just because of their stock price, to keep their stock price up. Because otherwise it's dropping down, as you can see. And as I say, this won't kind of pan out straight away, but as years go on, it will. Um, as I say, it's boosted by artificial news. That's the only reason this stock price has gone up. 
And really, when you think about it, lots of stocks, they make 30% gains all the time. The thing is, you know, every day you're going to find stocks making 30% uh, percent gains. Every, every trading day, it's just finding the right stocks. But the thing is, um, how long will it, how long will it, Tesla stock price remain high? How long will it remain high? Will it keep that level or go higher? Because it couldn't up there, you know, when it went just, you know, above four four hundred dollars. It couldn't, couldn't. It come all the way down to a hundred. You see it there from four hundred to a hundred. So that's the point. How long? Will it remain high, the Tesla stock price? Because sooner or later, when the costs are just too great and the company lose money, this is when I think the price will crash. It's all got to come to a head, guys, you know? Meanwhile, NEO, if we go to the NEO chart, back to the NEO chart, yeah? This is the Neo. So, meanwhile, as I was saying, the Neo is catching up in China. Neo sales. Of course, they're not as big as BYD, but BYD, talking about BYD, have already just, yeah, within this last month, or a month or six weeks, already taken taken Tesla sales, taken over. They've overtaken Tesla sales, guys. They're beating Tesla at sales, yeah, in China, in China. This is BYD. So think about it, yeah. It would take time to pan out all this, you know, this situation. But when it does, and the picture becomes clear, the reality of Tesla stock is that the Tesla stock is a price bubble. And that price bubble is going to burst. Going to burst, guys, right? And this means that, you know, when it does, and then companies like Neo in China you know can enter the US this is where you're going to see that everyone jumps on Neo stock that the Neo stock becomes you know great right so at the moment for the stock price of Neo it's just um, yeah, 508, as you know. Excuse me, it's just 508. And this is on the one week chart. You see it there, stabilized at around five. Pushed up, it was over 770. As time goes on, this is where you're going to see Neo stock, in my opinion, not financial advice, make some big moves, yeah? So, that's what I think, guys, overall, right? I don't think I'm wrong either. Like, I, I, if I'm wrong, let me know in the comments. Let me know what you think, right? Let me know what you think, because both companies... Neo and Tesla, they've got other things going on, right? They're not just making cars. They've got other things going on, other products, other tech, you name it. But as I said, te Tesla price seems to be artificially boosted. And a lot of it's based on politics. So anyway, guys. Let's make Neo great again, moving forward. Manga. <laughs>
Yeah. MNGA. Let's make Neo great again. But anyway, guys, like, look, I'm holding my stuff. As I said in my previous video, the Neo has been hit by this, you know, China, uh, this um, US election, this Tesla hype, right? In the moment, at the moment, right? Obviously, like, it got affected, the stock price, and then it got affected again when they're talking about... Um, stimulus you know in china stimulus package etc let that fade away that news let let all that fade yeah let that fade and then let neo carry on you know in china don't forget guys right that neo they've got the trump card and the trump card are the power swapping stations right and um, that's the Trump card, guys. Not everyone's got the ability to charge their cars. And when you're on a journey, I mean, charge their cars at home or in their office, you know, because they, they don't have charging points or don't even have, you know, always the same parking spot, etc. But also... You know, when, when they're on a journey, obviously, they need to, you need a quick, quick swap, quick battery swap, and then move on. They can't be sitting there for like half an hour or whatever, charging the car. So, they can get to these, you know, battery swapping stations, change the battery. Um... And that's the Trump card. The other Trump card, of course, production costs, manufacturing costs are going to be lower in China. They can try, you know, Neo can basically export vehicles into other countries. They don't need to manufacture Neo in other countries, right? They don't need to do that. They can just manufacture them in China and export them. It's cheaper. Why set up, you know, manufacturing in other countries if it's not going to pay off? You don't need to do that, guys. You know, the Japanese, the, 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 the cars, you know, from the, came from the Far East into the West. They didn't manufacture in, in the West. For donkey's years, they started to, like, you know, maybe 20, 15 years ago. And then they brought it all back to the, to the, to the, to the, to the East anyway. Because it was cheaper. So, moving forward, about Neo stock price compared to Tesla, Tesla, in my opinion, in my opinion, guys, right, I've got a strong, strong opinion, yeah, as you know, I call it right most of the time on stocks, I, I predicted the mini 2024 stock market crash, you know that, it's, it's, in, it's in the history of the videos, you can go and, go and check, I'm telling the truth. And that is when a lot, obviously, a lot of stocks fail. The prices fail. But I've got a strong opinion about Tesla in the future that we're going to see some major, major stock price crashes with Tesla. But now everyone's happy and and saying Tesla is the the best, the be all end all, and, and Elon Musk is on Trump's side and. And they're talking about tariffs on China and so on, blah, 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 goes on and on and on. But look, guys, Neo, BYD has already taken over sales in China, taken over, you know, Tesla sales. So already China, uh, Tesla is failing now. 
it's, it's the tipping point, right? BYD take, already taken over. And Neo are catching up. Obviously, Neo are not, not, not as big, but Neo are steady, you know, progressing with their sales. And who knows how big they can be, Neo, in the future? Who knows how big maybe Neo can take over? As BYD has already taken over Tesla. Maybe Neo can take over BYD. And in the future, who knows? Who knows about the US market if, if, if Neo cars will go there and how big it could become you know because other manufacturers are kind of like struggling building evs and there's issues basically it's the same with mercedes with bmw and renault even renault recently i think nine thousand jobs gone or was it not Renault, Nissan? Was it Nissan or Renault? I read an article. 9,000 jobs gone. 9,000 jobs been cut. So every, you know, everything, the competition's coming from China. And this is where, as I said, there's going to be a, a transition of the wealth from, you know, from US, you know, stocks like Tesla to China. China is really an, an emerging market, right? It's still an emerging market. When you, when you look at the stock prices, you see how low they are compared to US stocks, even though Neo's on, on the US stock market, right? even though you can still see how low the price is. If this was like a Tesla stock now, you know, it would be, it wouldn't be at this price. It would be like $40, $50 or whatever. You know, it'd be stabilized. If not that, it'd be like $20. It wouldn't be like $5, if you know, if you see my point. But I think this is going to change in the future. I think it's going to change. I don't think it's going to stay, you know, stay like that. So it's got to pan out. And, that, and that's the point. That is why I'm holding my stock. I've got, I got stock on two, two uh, platforms, two trading platforms. And, you know, I, I thought about Oh, I'll sell some when it goes up. Uh, get my crypto losses back, plus a bit of profit. Uh, it did go up a little bit, but not as high as I needed to. Then it went back down, obviously, where I bought, more or less. Five, just above five. And then I thought, you know what? Like, just wait it out, yeah? Wait it out. Let it... Let it rise, let it rise, let it take off. Yeah, because when it does take off, it's going to be big, isn't it? It's going to go to the moon. Why take 20, 30% like profit? You know, well, talking about my crypto losses, making profit, get, get get my money back plus profit. Why bother? Just let it let it fly let it fly let it go let it let it let it go to the moon right and the transition is going to take place guys it's going to take place between as i said these us stocks like tesla hyper inflated shored up through politics afraid of competition it's all going to change guys it's going to change not overnight, but it will change, and you're going to see companies like Neo. Um, you know, Neo stocks going to fly.